everybody Ann here sitting here on my porch having my coffee with all of you in the blazing hot sun I can't believe how hot it is already I don't even know what temperature it is but it is heating up so I gotta get some stuff done today before I get heat stroke <laughs> and uh, I wanted to show you the vegetables how they're doing and I made some sauerkraut I'm gonna show you that too so oh, I gotta get going I gotta get going <laughs> You throw me out a helicopter, I could fly. it is uh, it feels like it's about 92 I'll I'll check and see what the temperature is and throw it up there later but I gotta take a break and have some Gatorade with some ice in it thank goodness I've got ice I've used up all of the uh, all of the water from the rain barrels so it's supposed to rain in a couple days so I'm keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> 
you know, it's it's happened before, and um, God, I've been getting bit something terrible. So I am just going to relax until it cools down a little bit, which may be later this evening. And um, I wanted to rake some more mulch, you know, the, the grass clippings and whatnot, and put them in various spots like some people had suggested. But right now, whew, it's just too hot. While I'm waiting for it to cool down, I got a few more things in the mail. So guess what time it is? All right. The first one. Um, it came in a bigger box, and I can see what it is. I can see what it is. Um, I don't know who this is from. It's got two notes in, in the bottom of the big box, and it doesn't say who it's from. But this, this is freaking amazing. Nope. No note. Okay, I opened this the wrong way. Of course, this is a smoke detector. It is a kitty combo smoke seal alarm um, carbon dioxide and smoke it comes it comes with mounting tools it comes with batteries so I am going to I don't know if I will install this permanently um, I don't know if I want to drill any holes until I get the walls up but I'm gonna put this together and I'm gonna put it in a place that is wise that um, you know like the cooking area basically um, and just set it up and see how it goes and see if I've got like toxic gases being emitted. So I don't know who this is from. I have no idea. So thank you. Thank you so, so very much. Um, but this is going to make a huge difference too because now I've got this and I've got the fire extinguisher so I'm going to be so much more safe. Thank you so much whoever you are. Awesome person. Okay. The next one actually I ordered and this is an SAE to MC4 solar panel connector kit and it comes with two little things that you can use to reverse the polarity in case um, the positive and negative don't match with the positive and negative on my thing. Well, I tell you what, I got it hooked up and one thing that I learned is that, well, you have to have the same volt system, the same kind of stuff going on or else you can ruin one panel or the other. Um, what I found out is that the solar setup, you know, how much power you're going to be bringing in defaults to the lowest common denominator, which would have been my Harbor Freight solar panels. So it, to use this to hook on my old panels would actually decrease the overall wattage or voltage or amps that were coming in because it would only go to what I was bringing in with those other panels. So um, it really isn't going to help to hook those Harbor Freight panels up to my system. It would help if I get, and when I get, I'm going to be getting um, eventually at some point another uh, Renogy 100 watt panel. So that's on the horizon. Um, I'm doing okay right now with what I've got. So um, I won't be using this. I mean, I'm going to keep it around just in case something happens to those panels. I can still hook my panels up to the system that I've got using these connectors, so I'll be okay. Alright, the next one, and I've already opened this. Um, this came from Moira Lynn. I hope I said that right. This is such an amazing thing. It is a camp toaster. I don't really have any way to toast anything. So I haven't even used it yet, but basically, oh, am I gonna am I gonna ruin this if I set it up? Okay, I'm gonna put this together and show you it. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. You just put your little slices of toast or bread or whatever it is in here. You put it on top of your camp stove. I can put it on top of my little cooktop. On top of the grate, I can put it on top of my rocket stove. On top of the grate, not the the grill thing, but the little grate thingy. Um, I can also put it on top of my wood burning stove, right on top like this. And it's got a little ledge, and it has a little holes so that the heat can get through it. So I'm gonna have toast. You know, the first thing that I want to make on this, I want to toast some of that brown bread and put some ghee, which is butter and some honey or some peanut butter on it. I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning for breakfast. It's gonna be delicious. Thank you, Moira, Moy, Moira. 
Moira Lynn. <laughs> okay, I got one more thing. What is this? Do not know what it is. Gosh, do I know what this is? All right, let's see. Let's just rip into this. <laughs> I love my little blade. Okay, let's. Got, it's got notes. It's got notes. Enjoy your gift from, and I'm not allowed to say her name. Hmm? Nope, nope, nope. This is, this is awesome. This is a pet swivel pet tie-out steak. I'm going to show you what it is. It's very heavy duty. I had it on my wish list. And let's see if I take too long to open this. Hopefully not. I'm not going to put it together. Um, I'll show you once I've got it in the ground. But it's this thing. And you actually put the bolts into the ground. They've, they've got some heavy-duty, you know, connectors here. And this swivels around. So I'm going to be able to put Betty away from that tree and away from, you know, the areas that are, like, have snakes and whatnot. And I'm probably going to put her out back somewhere behind there. Um, I'm going to have to figure this out because if Mr. Lucas is kind enough to ever mow my lawn again, um, I don't want him to ruin his tractor when I, when I put this out there. So I cannot wait to get this set up. Thank you so much, you lovely, lovely person. I love this. And Betty's going to love it too because she's just been getting herself wrapped around that tree. And I don't really like where, where the lead is right now because it's by where those ants were. So this is going to give her more freedom. Um, it's going to be much better for her. So thank you so much. Well, the wind just came up like big time. The trees are whipping around and it looks like there's clouds up in the sky. So I don't know. We might get some more rain. So I may get a few more things done today real quick, but this video is long enough. So we'll just show you more tomorrow. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.